Well, let's tell you about this now as well. Black women experience infertility at almost double the rate of white women. The CDC is reporting 11.5% of black women experience infertility compared with 7% of white women. This weekend, a national nonprofit infertility organization launched a Jacksonville branch to help more women of color conceive. On your side's Don White has more on this new partnership. Brown Fertility is partnering with Fertility for Colored Girls and launching the Jacksonville chapter in hopes of helping more First Coast black couples on their path to parenthood. It's isolating. It's lonely. The Reverend Dr. Stacy Edwards Dunn experienced that loneliness when she had trouble getting pregnant. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's heartbreaking. Um, you grieve a lot because you end up grieving um, your dreams and your plans, your original plans. She went through seven in vitro fertilization treatments over seven years. Infertility was a taboo topic in the black community. So the Reverend Stacy took action, creating fertility for colored girls in 2013. We provide education, awareness, support and encouragement for black women and couples, as well as other women of color who struggle with infertility, miscarriage and loss. The nonprofit organization also provides grants and free IVF, in addition to monthly support groups in 16 states. This is a couple's disease. Julius Varzoni with Brown Fertility says the clinic will host the first Jacksonville support group virtually in July and then in person in a few months. There's also research that shows that African-American women seek infertility treatment at a much less rate than white women. Varzoni says black women can experience infertility because they're more likely to get uterine fibroids and less likely to reach out for help, but there are several options in the fertility journey. It can be as simple as a lifestyle change, it can be as simple as an IUI, intrauterine insemination, or the last resort IVF, in vitro fertilization. This is something the Reverend Stacy knows firsthand as the mother of six-year-old Shiloh. You're not alone and there is hope. There are so many paths for you to build your family. For more information on the Jacksonville chapter of Fertility for Colored Girls, head on over to our website, firstcoastnews.com. And Del Rio, Don White, First Coast News, on your side.